Hi there, I'm Dave Edwards with another video on how you can more effectively use Evernote to keep track of things, be more efficient, and reduce the amount of paper that you keep. Today, we'll look at how you can use tags. I actually shared a little bit about tags in a, in a previous setup video, but I wanna show you a little bit more about how you can use them best because quite frankly, they're so easy to set up that some people use them to excess so that your efficiency is actually reduced. As I always say, Evernote is designed as an open canvas platform. You can set it up any way you want. You can use templates, they have them. You wanna have a lot of notebooks or one big one with a lot of pages, it's all up to you. It's why having a strategy for how you wanna use Evernote is a very good idea. The same thing applies to tags because get this, you can create, I wouldn't recommend this, 100,000 different tags. It's best if you have a plan. Think of tags as keywords. When you have thousands of notes like I do, it would be very difficult to find a collection of notes that relate to a single subject or a person. So you can tag notes by subjects, events, people, really anything you want and all of your notes can have multiple tags. One way that I've used tags is to bring together a collection of notes that I might have filed in multiple Evernote notebooks that I might later need while attending a meeting and I don't wanna to have to scroll through many notes or many notebooks to find the important items. So let's say while I'm meeting with department heads throughout the year, I'm told about a budgetary need, something that we may need to consider in next year's budget. So for example, my CFO Mary at some point in one of the status meetings I have with her says uh, she wants to discuss new positions and how we're gonna pay for them uh, as we consider rolling them into next year's budget. Well, I wanna remember this uh, item for when I talk with Mary. So I simply go to her tag with her name in and I assign that tag to her name. Now that will mean that every time I wanna meet with Mary, click on her name, this note will pop up. I'll show you that in a moment. But another thing is if I've created a tag called new budget, I basically add that tag here and now all of my budget items will also come up when I click the new budget item. And then at another meeting, uh, Mary reminds me that the rent for the next fiscal year will go up by 5%. We need to plan for this on the budget. Well, I'll record that in my note. Now, obviously, there's a lot of other things that we discussed through the course of that meeting. But this is what I want to really want to remember when we are putting our budget together. So I want to tag that with the new budget tag, pop it in. Now that item is also selected. Uh, within that tag. Now, when I click on the new budget icon, all of the items that are tagged as new budget items pop up uh, underneath that tag. Here's another example. So at the beginning of the year, I've established a series of goals for Mary that I really want her to work on through the course of this next year. So this is when I've established the goals made a note that we've discussed it with her, and then I list each of the goals separately. Now, I want to make sure that every time I have a status meeting with Mary, we can come back and review the progress that she has made towards those goals. So here, once again, I take her tag and I tag it with her name. Now it's time to have that status meeting with Mary. All I do is click on her name and we're discussing the new budget with her, and her goals for the year also pop up underneath her name. Now this is, you know, think of it, this is kind of like an agenda for our meeting. I like to share maybe a day before I meet with someone uh, an agenda of all the items we're gonna talk about. Well, here they are. So before I send Mary an email saying, hey, we're meeting tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock for our regular status meeting, here are the things I wanna discuss with you. It's very easy for me to find them because I've clicked on her name. Now, I have a couple of cautions to share. It comes down to this. It's almost too easy to create tags, and you have to be very careful how you create them. For example, you could create tags inadvertently. You may never notice this mistake, but it will really mess up your system. Let's, uh, let me show you an example, and I, I'm, I'll, uh, I'll, for the sake of this argument, create a new note 
and uh, we'll call this note uh, um, uh, mileage uh, mileage report. Uh, so uh, let's say I go meet with a client, and uh, you know it's a 42, 43 uh, mile round trip, um, and I need to pay. I need to also pay two dollars in tolls. Now, when do I want to remember this? I want to remember this when I'm filling out my uh, my expense report. So, for example, I can go to the add tag, and I could create a note that says expense report very easily. Now, um, what if the next time I do this report, and uh, instead of calling it expense report, I file it under um, mileage. Now you see what I've unfortunately done here is I've created two tags that really relate to the same thing. So here is my caution. Create only the tags that you need. And oh, by the way, be careful that you spell them correctly because if I misspelled mileage, it would create this tag plus the uh, tag with the incorrect spelling of mileage. Second warning goes back to my earlier note that you can create 100,000 tags. Some productivity and Evernote proponents say that instead of having multiple notebooks as your first tier organizational system, you should just tag everything. They suggest you have a notebook that you could name File Cabinet, and then you create a tag for every project you're working on, for every class you take, or every bill you have to pay. I don't think that's very effective. Let's say you forget to tag a note. Now your note is lost somewhere in your Evernote file cabinet. So if you have thousands of notes, good luck finding it again. Second problem, you have to remember all of your tags every time you want to do anything. That's an unnecessary step. And finally, a more technical problem. If you and I are both Evernote users and I share a note with you, it also shares my tag. Now, I've actually created a tag in your account, which will mess up your system if you don't use tags the same way that I do. Now, you might be thinking that with my system of uh, a more refined way of tagging notes, it would take a long time to find a note that is not tagged. Well, the truth is Evernote has a powerful search function. It can find anything by simply entering a term in the search box. If you have a question about how to use Evernote, or if you have an idea to share, please post it in the comment section below, or send me an email. I'd like to learn from you. I'm Dave Edwards. I write about productivity, leadership, management, and Evernote issues at my blog, DaveEdwardsMedia.com.